Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're checking out what the dinosaurs actually look like. Cause you know, I'd be thinking like, bro, there has to be something. Cause bro, I heard they'd be finding bones and then they just, you know, reorder them in a way that they think the dinosaur would have looked like. So we're gonna actually check out this video and, and get you know, a little explanation. Cause some of the dinosaurs look a bit too, I mean, fake you feel me like something like, i can't really believe that but yeah if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah let's watch the past is a vast and mysterious land that begins at the big bang and ends in the present expanding with each passing moment it's the home of everything that came before the key to understanding our present here we find the most amazing creatures to ever roam our planet Hundreds of millions of species so diverse that our imagination cannot do them justice. Unfortunately, the past carefully guards its secrets. While there are a lot of things about the past we know, there are way more things we know we don't know. And worse, there are probably even more things we don't even know that we don't know about. Makes sense. That's fair enough, though. think of the wonder of life. We now recognize about 1.5 million eukaryotic species, but there may be as many as 10 million alive today. Or maybe and double. Although we are honest. adding some 15,000 new species to our collective knowledge each year, the vast majority of life on Earth is still Ooh. undiscovered. Oh, he's crazy. He said they add 15 million each year. I'm actually not surprised because like 75 percent is it i don't know if i'm right of the ocean isn't explored so like i'm not i'm not trying to be like these other guys that are like yo maybe there's aliens in the ocean no nah, i'm just there's probably definitely way more than like 100 million other species plus that are in the ocean that no one has ever explored huge possibility this is just what is around today an estimated 4 billion species emerged on our planet in past eons. But at least 99% of them Damn. died out way before <laughs> humans spoke the first words. The vast majority of all the different species that ever existed are so utterly deleted that they have become part of the unknown, unknown part of the past, lost to us forever. Or are they? Could we use science and imagination to glimpse a shadow of the unreachable past? Uh, Let's see, this start is what I don't with what like. we do know. To this learn about creatures like. of the past, we need fossils. Any sort of remains preserved from past geological ages. Bones or shells, impressions or imprints, things preserved in amber. The totality of all fossils on Earth is called the fossil record, and it's the most important window on the past we'll ever have. For a dead animal to fossilize, a number of things must go just right. The right environment, timing, and conditions. And then the fossil needs to survive for millions or hundreds of... That's cool, that's cool, no, but like, the, the, little, the little clip they did there where they like, put the bones in like a, like a little puzzle to solve what the animal would have looked like. That's cool, but I, I you know, I'm kind of against that because like, it could, sometimes the bones... It's like, let's say, you know, like a human, you know, it, the, everyone's facial structure is different, of course, but the skeleton, like they're like, um, their skeleton, you know, they mainly look alike, but someone might have had like a huge nose, but then since the nose is not a bone, they can't become a fossil. So you only see, you know, the bone that's underneath. So you won't know how it really looked like. I mean, it's cool that they get vague images, but like some of the dinosaurs just look too big. And the movies don't help at all. You see like a huge T-Rex, you're like, damn, if this was alive, like what? It's just so hard to, you know, Millions of believe. years, and then get back to the surface and then be discovered before natural processes dissolve it. So it is kind of a miracle that we have what we have and know what we know take the dinosaurs, since they were one of the largest and most successful groups of animals for some 165 million years, and are also a lot of fun to animate. What were they really like, and what are we missing? In the last 200 years, we've found tens of thousands of fossils from over 1,000 dinosaur species. 
Lately, oh. we've entered a golden era of discovery, and about 50 new dinosaur species are discovered each year, expanding what we know and what we know that we don't know about them, which is amazing. But it also okay. makes us aware of all the things lost to the past forever. Imagine if we took all the animals that lived in the last 50 million years and randomly chose 10,000 individuals from 1,000 species to fossilize. Think about all the things that would be missed or that seem too weird to be true. Like the giraffe, a yellow animal with brown patterns that looks like a horse and an antelope had a baby with a long neck and two tiny hairy horns. Oh yeah, tell me about this. How would the, let's say the giraffe was extinct or whatever and they found its bones. I'm not sure they would have drew it like this. It probably would have. They probably would have made it way scarier, cause like, that's how that's how they usually portray most of these animals, like long, really, really long bones. Huh? They probably could have mistaked it for like one of those um, those uh, plant eaters. The uh, I forgot the name, but those those really huge dinosaurs with a really long neck. Probably would have mistaken it for one if these were extinct but i'm just thrilled i like some of the bones are just too big so i'm like okay maybe this this kind of makes sense i kind of agree with some of it. how many dinosaur giraffes were there animals so weird and selected for ecological niches so specific that evolution molded their bodies very absurdly today they might seem made up to us we know yeah, a lot alien. of species are lost forever just because of the environment they lived in for example, lush jungles basically prevent fossilization as the chances that an animal will be buried here are low. Countless scavengers of all sizes break down freshly deceased animals extremely quickly and the soil is often so acidic that bones are dissolved. And so fossils of dinosaurs from jungles are practically non-existent. Today, wow. half of all known species live in the few remaining rainforests that only cover 2% of Earth's landmass. Millions of years ago, when dinosaurs roamed Earth, jungles covered much more of the planet. So, besides some insects and other small animals trapped in amber, there should be millions of species that emerged and vanished without leaving any trace. Trapped deep inside the unknown unknown. But just in general, biology trips us up. Look at your body. It's mainly squishy, gooey, soft stuff, which does not preserve well. What remains the longest are the crystallized. Oh, that came out wrong. But this is this is kind of cool. The um the only thing that kind of bothers me though is let me see. It's not it's not the size of these like dinosaurs. The size is, is cool. It's just like the strength they give them, like the T-Rex. The way because like with the uh, Jurassic is it Jurassic Park? Bro, that movie, well, the first time I watched it, I was like, damn, this this stuff is, like, real. Like, um, I used to see, like, the dinosaurs, like, all the way to the, build, like, huge buildings. I'm like, damn. It, it's like a alien. I don't know. It's it's some more. The T-Rex, it's, it's the thing I'm just stuck on the most. I don't know if they got that one right, because the two small arms, they bother me the most. Because, like, bro, you're, you're that big with, with little arms. Like, what are you doing? But, uh. Maybe some more discoveries will be made. Parts of your bones, and so most dinosaur fossils are bones or teeth, usually fragments, not entire skeletons. This means that almost all boneless or shellless animals are practically wiped from the fossil record. If we take a look at the stunning diversity of weird animals like worms, jellyfish, and slugs alive today, we can only speculate what we are missing. Although thankfully, oh, yeah. many of the soft and gooey too. species also left us an incredible diversity of shells that tell us an amazing amount about our past, so at least we have that. Still, when we think about all the boneless species that may have existed in the last half billion years, even our best attempt at imagining them falls short. But it's not like reimagining something based on its bones is straightforward. And so the way we envisage what dinosaurs actually looked like has changed a lot in the last few years. Oh. In the past, many illustrations had a bony, minimalistic look with a toothy grin to signify fierceness and danger. That's what I said. But if we draw today's animals in a similar way, based on their skeletons, just for the fun of it, we get the most bizarre creatures. Elephants, swans, and baboons that look like monsters right out of nightmares. 
So, similar to animals today, we should imagine dinosaurs with much more soft tissue, fat bellies or chests, weird soft parts like skin flaps, lips and gums, and just more... Bro, that's what I said. They could draw a, uh, anything, like, and make it look scary. Like I said with that giraffe, bro, I've been, I've been catching on so early, I feel Now it's features that would make them seem like much more pleasant fellows. Bro, this animation Some is so good. Some soft features actually leave distinctive traces on bones that we can look for in the skeletons of extinct animals, which is where today's animals with similar features are really helpful. It's a similar story with colors. Because we know what the feathers of living birds look like, modern technology combined with the exceedingly rare fossils with preserved remains of fuzzy feathers give us a glimpse of the real colors of extinct dinosaurs. We know that tiny Sinosauropteryx had a striped tail, and its tiny dino buddy Anchionis huxley was white and black with gorgeous red feathers around its head. Still, for the vast scary. majority of really any ancient extinct species, we have no real clue what color they were. But we know what modern dinosaurs, birds, look like, and here we find the most amazing variety. So some dinosaurs will have tried to blend into the background, while others might have fielded aggressive color schemes to attract mates or to appear dangerous. Some might have had impressive decorations or colorful beaks. Some may have been striped or patterned. Similarly, we don't know that much about dinosaur behavior, although once again we can draw conclusions from existing animals. For example, even apex predators like lions spend a lot of their time lying around and cuddling and licking each other and playing. Why would dinosaurs be so different? When we right. first found the skull of T- I'm saying, bro, the T-Rex, they just make it, or not only the T-Rex, like all, all the big animals, they just make it seem like, yo, this thing was made for killing. Like, it's a, it's a T-Rex. Like, you guys gotta avoid a T-Rex. Like, this and this, because I- they even showed it attacking its own, like, like, other T-Rexes, and it would eat them. So I'm like, what movies am I watching at this point? I'm just like, like, yo, come on, like. So that's why with this, like, it's too much news out there. I want, only this channel can tell me about this, like, science stuff. No other channels. T-Rex with its mighty teeth and probably the strongest bite of any land animal ever, we imagined a fierce and stupid beast. Right. But modern scanning technology has revealed that T-Rex had a larger brain-to-body ratio than some earlier giant meat-eaters. And it probably had very sharp hearing, vision, and a sense of smell, and was in all likelihood not a stupid animal. So maybe T-Rex was a cuddly fellow that spent a lot of time playing around or impressing potential mates when it was not hungry. Maybe. Likewise, while their horns and shields might have made ceratopsids appear to be natural-born fighters, they were probably much more than that. Based on the behavior of modern animals and the complex dances some have to go through to mate, maybe their shields were amazingly colorful. Maybe it danced for its mates like many birds do today. How intensely amazing these creatures- Bro, I gotta be honest, these animals have more game with the ladies, though. They, I gotta give it to them, they attract. Like, you gotta have a game and these animals do. Imagine dancing, yo, that's crazy. My hat, you know, hat off for all those animals. This must have been. And what a loss it is to us that we don't get to experience them firsthand. That's cool, what I'm an fine. even greater loss that there is so much we will never know about them and even more tragic, all the absurd and beautiful beings that disappeared without a trace. But such is life. Time marches on life. without any concern for our feelings, and the past expands with every moment that passes. Most right. wild animals alive today will in all likelihood not leave fossils behind and also just disappear forever. We can do something about that, though. Instead of accelerating the extinction we are witnessing, we could become the guardians of life and preserve it where we find it. If oh. possible, in the wild, if not, then in museums, movies, and in our minds. Because as amazing as our imagination is, and as fascinating to think about the animals that are part of the unknown unknown, it is nice. even better to witness them in the present. The land that we actually inhabit, where we get to experience life as it happens. Yeah, that's some cool stuff. But I just gotta be honest though, some of these animals are scary. I like animals, animals are cool, but 
I don't really go out of my way to, like, unless it's a dog or something, I don't go out of my way to like, to bond with nature. Like I, you know, I'm like, oh damn, outside is beautiful. I breathe air, I feel happy. That's about it. But you know, yeah, you guys, uh, you should love animals. Um, And yeah, dinos was probably weren't that scary, but I mean, they're still scary if they're that big. You guys tell me what you think about dinosaurs. And if you made it this far, thank you and have a nice day.